Well, well, I wonder how do you check tire pressure? With school, friends' birthday parties, and my dance classes, I'm feeling really exhausted right now. I'm at snail pace, even when it comes to homework. You know, I think Dad is having the same problem. He's all run out too. Except that for him, it's worse. It's because of his tires. What are the risks involved with the under-inflated tires? It might sound silly, but tires are the only part of a car that come into contact with the ground. It is the tire that ensures good road handling and your safety. So, always make sure you have the right pressure. Poorly inflated tires present a number of risks. Firstly, tires wear out faster. Then it's like a deflated soccer ball. It doesn't go as quickly. And so, it consumes more fuel. But the worst thing is for safety. When cornering, the car doesn't hold the road as well, and if it is raining, there is a greater risk of aquaplaning. An overinflated tire will also have wear and grip problems, and it will be damaged more easily if it runs over debris. How do we know what the right pressure is? Here we are going to talk about bars. M mind you, not the bars where adults might go for a drink. No, in fact, bar is a unit with which we measure pressure. This is the bar we are talking about. In real terms, One bar is equal to one kilogram of pressure per cubic centimeter. To find out the pressure level for your tires too, there are several places where it can be found. 1. In your vehicle's maintenance booklet, usually located in the front glove compartment of your car. 2. On the driver's door jam. Just open your front left door to see this information. 3. Inside your fuel tank flap. 4. At your favorite clever garage, where experts know all about tire pressure levels. 5. Or of course, on the internet. How do you inflate tires? It's very easy. First, you have to go to a service station that has a tire inflation or free air bay. Then, proceed as follows. 1. Remove the valve cap. The inflation valve is attached directly to the rim. 2. Place the tip of the inflation tube onto the valve. Make sure that it fits tightly. 3. Monitor the pressure of the nanometer. 4. Add air in successive bursts, always checking the pressure indicated on the nanometer. 5. If your tires are overinflated, release the excess pressure. 6. Once you're done, remove the pipe nozzle. 7. Replace the valve cap correctly. 8 move on to the next tire. 9. Don't worry, if you hit a problem, you can ask for the help from experts at the station. Please note that pressure should be checked when tires are cold. This means that your vehicle must not have been driven for at least two hours. To avoid waiting for two hours at the service station, plan to do the check near home before a long trip. The pressure decreases when cold, so in winter you need to add 0.2 bar when cold to the usual pressure. There you have it. One last point. Don't forget to check your tire pressure at least once a month or before each long trip. And if you have any doubts about the wear of your tires, Ervik tells us in our earpiece that you can also consult our video on this subject. For further information, visit clever-tires.com or our social networks. So, if I understand it, I should check tire pressure at least once a month for the safety of my passengers, to save fuel, to maintain the lifespan of my tires. Happy driving and see you soon!